Hello everyone, welcome back to a very special episode of the Elden Ring Sorcerer Guide. The reason this episode is so special is because I have officially received, after almost a month, my new mixer for my microphone. It has been an incredible journey, truly something that cannot be described, but I finally have it. Uh, as you know, my old mixer that I've been using was busted for quite a while. Luckily it did work. Oh shit, the controller. I'm just gonna have to remember to plug it in. Uh, it was still working, but not very well. Uh, I essentially had to do a ton of audio editing after each episode to get the commentary up to a normal level. And that's why I decided to, up, uh, to get this new mixer and it's just been absolute chaos. I will explain the story, but before that, I came back to Rhea Lucaria for one reason and one reason only. There is this little secret door here which leads to... Comet. Comet is the sort of, I guess, the most advanced version of the like Comet type or Glintstone Pebble type spells. 52 intelligence, if I remember correctly, so pretty advanced. And I totally forgot about this and missed this, even though it's very easy to get. Uh, so yeah, that's corrected. Anyways, I'm just gonna check whether there's anything up here. I'm just so happy that I finally have my mixer because the most important thing this leads to is that I'll also be able to return to streaming. Oh shit. One of this, 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 this place, I like this place. Uh, one of the biggest issues with the current situation was that I couldn't stream. What the hell is this? Graven School Talisman. That is the wrong spell to use here. In some ways it is the right spell, but this one's like fucking Mortal Kombating me. Um... Yeah, I can finally return to streaming. I know it's been ages, but I literally couldn't do it because my mic was not loud enough to be actually understandable when I streamed. Anyways, let's just have a looky look for this. Raises potency of sorceries. But this is good as well. Raising maximum. Oh shit. I'm honestly sort of half. Fuck. Yeah, this is. This sucks. No matter how much HP and like intelligence and power you have, this sucks because poise doesn't exist in this game. I don't know why. I mean, look at the speed they're fucking attacking. Isn't that ridiculous? I mean. What the hell? What the actual fuck? It's so insane. Yeah, I think I'm gonna probably switch out. Not now, because this is chaotic. But I'm probably gonna switch out my stamina talisman. Ooh, that, that parry though. So yeah, I've missed out on a lot of streaming, uh, and I'm itching to get back. Uh, a lot of this shit was partially out of my control, so yeah. What can you do? Anyways, now that we're done with that, I think the time is... Well, the time has officially come to try and return to the foot of the forge and fight the fire giant there's a lot of f's in that sentence i've actually been looking at tactics on how to fight this thing with uh sorceries and i didn't exactly have the worst approach so we can get comet uh i need to like structure this terra magica is okay comet azure and what else did they use 
Oh, yeah, fucking, of course. Carry and Slicer. And I think that might have actually been it. So what I'm probably gonna do is, let me just think about the arrangement here. So, one Great Glintstone, Glintstone Comet, Actual Comet, Comet Azure, Terra Magica, and Carrion Slicer. I think that's gonna be sort of what we're shooting for here. Uh, essentially, you just need to use Comet Azor at a very specific time. And yeah, that should work. That should work. Uh, should being the keyword. Okay, so we want to be on carry and slicer. Just not easy switching between these things. And yeah, we'll see what happens. But essentially, as soon as you break his little leg chain, that's when you go for... Uh... Oh, fuck. Thought I was safe, because, well, whatever. So, ready the flask. I hate that you can't see shit in this boss fight. Fighting the camera is much better than actually fighting the boss, right? Cool. Yeah, I was too late. Yeah, I was too late. I fucked it up. Are you fucking kidding me? Is that not... Yeah, anyways, this is a screwed up attempt. Uh, but that's your timing. Is that not, like, dealing any damage to him? Can you not hit his... Well, you kinda can. Anyways, as you can see, Comet itself does a lot of damage. It's just... Getting the sort of... I wouldn't even say timing, but the... Oh, I hate this boss so much. I never understood, because I actually had quite an easy time with this fight. I never understood why people said this fight is absolutely horrible. I am now very much understanding why people said that. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be a journey. Uh this is for sure gonna be hell. Maybe it's just better having Comet Azor ready. And just breaking the thing, not with carry and slicer, but just my sword. Cool. The, like, real objective here is to do this, the switch as quickly as you can. Is he already rolling? What the fuck? Cool. Drink. Switch. Comet to Zor. It, do it doesn't work. I, I don't get it. It worked on the fucking video. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna have to come up with a different tactic because this isn't working. Uh, and that is a little bit worrying. It's just... Off. This is so ridiculous. Okay, I'm back. Uh, this boss is turning into an honest-to-god nightmare. Uh, I struggled all last evening trying to defeat it, and I'm continuing to struggle right now. This is just the worst kind of Elden Ring boss. Uh,
camera is absolutely god awful, uh, which is issue number one. Issue number two, this thing deals an ungodly amount of damage. If I'm not at full HP, it pretty much insta kills me. Third thing, why is this thing so goddamn mobile? Don't even ask me. I mean, an add insult to injury, his flame attacks in phase 2, I can't even talk. Uh, leave lingering flame hitboxes, uh, which just makes it a whole lot of fun, you know. So, yeah, this is my life now, trying to beat this fucking fire giant. I really did, I really did have an incredibly easy time with this boss on playthrough number one. I don't know how or why, it just sort of turned out that way. And see, this is what I'm talking about. This is like perfectly encapsulating why this boss is such a nightmare. The camera is not suited for an enemy like this. I don't know who the hell thought when they were creating the bosses that having a giant enemy like this with Elden Ring's camera system, or like the Souls camera system, is a smart idea. I that that all missed. And it's, see, not at full HP, I get fucking one shot. This is I I'm seriously having negative fun here. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've been having that feeling since, well, yesterday evening. The you're not gonna see those parts, but the last few, well, last 10, 20, 30 minutes of the recording session were just absolutely miserable. Uh, and it continues to be miserable right now. Again, I don't know. Oh, no, no, fuck! <sighs> and there's no way to cancel out of a spell. I'm just not worried, but you know, there's... I do not have infinite MP and I kind of need MP. And again, I this thing is for his size, he's so mobile uh, that it's like difficult to describe. Like why the hell is he so mobile and again out of all the arenas in this game, why couldn't this one have been flat? And my fucking spells keep missing. Tracks too, like crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go back. A little bit. This is another issue that he he gets himself like stuck on the edges of the arena, and then it just becomes a whole other nightmare. Is he gonna roll? No, he's not. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, wait, okay. I made it out just in time. Of course, he can use that flame attack and immediately attack straight after it. That's no problem. That then kind of is a weak spot. Oh. Motherfucker. I don't know how that didn't do that much damage. Okay. This <laughs> is just so insane. 
fucking finally. All right. Phase two is its own nightmare, believe me. Uh, I'm gonna skip. And what my tactic is, is to drink my flask and blast him as many times as I can in the head before he starts doing that freak out. You can't really get close to him when he does this. And his head is a weak spot. Uh, but still. It's weird because you can't directly lock onto his head. You just kind of have to... See, and there goes Torrent. In one single attack. And he one-shots me. read so many comments and threads on this boss on people bitching and saying how much of a nightmare it is and I just didn't understand it until now I fully understand it and I'm sorry for ever doubting those people because this might just be the shittiest boss in this game uh, it's definitely up there Okay, after many, many attempts, here is the post-commentated victory against the fire giant. Man, you don't even know how long this took. Um, by far a lot longer than any boss. I think outside of playthrough 1 Radagon and maybe playthrough 1, who else really took a long time, Malekith. This took the most amount of time. This thing is just absolutely ridiculous and unfun. This thing is legit unfun. Um, what I decided to go for is the slow way or slower way of killing him. Technically you can do this 100%, almost 100% safely by... Um, being behind him always most of his attacks can't really hit you but even then he's just so mobile that it's insane and of course if you choose this tactic I mean look at how much damage I'm actually dealing look at his HP bar that is ridiculous ridiculous knowing that all it takes is one mistake that's the thing that really rubs me wrong about this boss fight like I fully understand what an endurance fight is and yeah, again, I know what the purpose of such a boss fight is, but most of the times when you have an endurance fight in a video game, that boss cannot one-shot you. I mean, this guy, again, one wrong move, and he insta-blasts me and kills me. And that's, again, really the thing that kind of annoys me, that I could be doing 100% completely well. I could be, like, at the end of his HP bar and one slip up and then you have to go back to fighting him all over again when he has this much HP and uh, like this high defense but anyways uh, that's I guess just how this boss is but overall um, this attempt this last attempt wasn't so bad I think this was partially just me getting lucky with most of the moves he did. Uh, here I got very, very lucky with this freakout move. He just like... Yeah, and he almost like... If I had just a tiny bit... This is a perfect example uh, of why this boss fight is annoying. If I had a sliver less HP when he hit me, and here as well, I would have been dead. Like, I, I would have absolutely been one-shot, insta-killed, and... That's so annoying when, on average, a fight against this guy takes at least 5 minutes, so... I don't know. Doesn't feel like the best use of your time, but... 
here we are. Uh, by the way, I will apologize in advance if I repeat a lot of the points uh, in the sort of clips after, because that one was done straight after I beat him, and this is post commentary. So, yeah, again, apologies if I rehash a couple of things. I just decided to just go and blast him. And even then, he had a sliver of HP left, and I was super worried. But, anyways, that's the fire giant people. Um, don't know what else I can say other than let's get back to live commentary. Oh man, the fire giant is finally dead. Man, that was one of the least fun things I've done in a Souls game in a long, long time. That was the most frustrating boss fight. <sighs> It's really, it really is, and again, I know I'm spoiling my eventual second review of this game, but it really is the camera. Um, FromSoft, I cannot believe that after seven mainline games, still does not know how to properly adjust the camera for large bosses. The extra weird thing is that they almost had a solution in Sekiro. The Sekiro thing where it kind of zooms out on, you know, like the larger bosses like uh, Demon of Hatred almost worked. If they worked on that system a little bit more to refine it, it would have been fine. And instead, they just went back to the standard camera. Like, you saw, you saw all the attempts. Like, most of my deaths were hits from off screen. As in, I was focusing on his legs and if you're nearby on his, like... If you're attacking his legs, that fills up 80% of your screen. And then he just does like a slam attack, bam, you're dead. It's ridiculous. All right, man. I cannot wait to finally fucking move on and not have to touch the mountaintops again because this area is busted. And not in a good way. Not in a good way. God, my face cam is messed up. There we go. Let's watch this, watch this cutscene and get going. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? Well. I'm ready. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. And you know, this is like, this is a good part of the game. I do like this whole cutscene and set up and everything <clears throat> it's a shame that melina dies i still wish she'd played a bigger role in the story like she was hyped up to be but eh, what can you do I'm just watching this because this is a pretty cool cutscene. <laughs> she just like slumped over sleeping. Oh man, that's some Bill Cosby shit. I swear to you, nobody's ever gonna convince me that she doesn't look like lightning. Because she does. Again, it's the hair color, I think. Or even Sarah. But more like lightning, I think. Believe me. I'm just looking forward to meeting him. 
and having another difficult boss fight. And with that, here we are in... If it would have loaded, that would have been like a nice segue. Here we are in Crumbling Ferrum Zula. Of course, our eyes are covered, so we don't know what the hell is actually going on. Still, we're here, and the good thing about that is uh, there are some ancient dragon somber smithing stones, somber ancient dragon smithing stones here, which is what we want and what we need. All right. So what's going to be happening here is I will hit up the first bonfire here in Azula. And then we can, I think, call it a day. It's been a bit of a slog, <laughs> this episode, uh, considering it took me like three days to get here. Uh, man, they're really like... They're really hinting that you should have your shit leveled up, boy. I have a ton of runes too that I can use, so we'll get on that shit. And yeah, I do know that I switched my <clears throat> sword and shield setup, but I think I might just rock this because I completely realized like that I'm not using my Damn, that was a double hit. Like, I'm not using my shield at all. And I haven't been using it for a long time, so... Why even have it, you know? God, this spell is so powerful. <clears throat> and even still... Three hits. Yeah, still. See, I, I thought the first... What you call it? The first uh, side of grace was a lot closer. I forgot that you have to go through all this shit. That is 180k on the line. I'm stupid. I'm really stupid. Why did I think there was like one right at the beginning of Ferrum? Azula. Shit. Well, there's some extra tension for the end of this episode, people. Uh, is the boy gonna lose 180k souls? It's very, very possible. You guys... You guys know me. You know... You know my style. Let's just try and, like, not fall off a cliff, because usually when shit like this happens, as in I have a lot of souls on the line, I end up, like, dropping off a cliff or something, like, really stupid, and let me just grab this. The first one is, like, I think right here. Yep. Yep. How many of them are, like, after me? A lot of them. So I'm gonna try breaking the aggro because this shit ain't gonna work. Because they're way too fucking fast. Ooh, maybe not. Come on. Eat shit, bitches. And I don't know there's one more. There you are. Get back to your place. And this thing does a lot of damage. Excellent. That's all I wanted and needed. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up. Really wrap up this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. We can actually get three levels. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna use those tactically on my HP. Let's not just spoil it. Let's just spoil it. Yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. Thankfully, this boss didn't make me quit the game. It almost did. I'm gonna be honest with you. So yeah, we are we have newfound fire uh, 
which we will use in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Peace out and goodbye.